Hey guys, this is Auspicious Aussie and welcome back to episode 50 of the New York Rebels series. Um, today it is actually the end of the season so it's pretty perfect timing. Um, the 50th episode will be um, like an end of season review type thing um, before we move on to the playoffs. Um, very exciting times with New York now. Um, really looking forward to it, to the... Uh, to the business end of the season. Um, as you can see, my um, board confidence as far as like, the um, MLS goes is like pretty outstanding. It's probably the highest it's ever been. Um, but yeah, let's get into the most recent fixtures. Uh, Portland was the last live comment in the previous episode. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you go back and give it a watch. Uh, it was a great game, really solid win. We then Stayed at home, guys, and beat... Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? We we almost beat Toronto, but it was a 2 all draw. It finished. As you can see, we missed a penalty um, in the 50th minute through Saez Yusefi. They then scored a minute later. Um, and um, pretty disappointing to go from a, a penalty miss to a, a goal scored for our opponents. Boltadano then equaled it for us, um, only for, for us to lose the... Uh, Lose the, well, lose the lead once more through uh, Adam Sikaluna in the 78th. And who else but Luke Lombardo, a fringe player that um, pretty much came on because uh, Botello got injured and he comes up with a 90 minute, uh, 90th minute uh, goal. Sorry, Jeez, my words are all over the place today. And uh, g gave us a point back, which was really... Well, we'll just say it was well deserved. Uh, should have should have been a win, really. Uh, we then faced Sporting Kansas City at home and managed a one nil victory. Uh, Said Yusefi probably making up for his penalty miss in the previous game, um, scoring a goal in the 43rd minute for us. Uh, we then faced Columbus Crew in the most recent game and was away from home at the Columbus Crew Stadium and we managed to pump them four nil. Perez with a brace in the 32nd and 82nd minute. Mohar got on the score sheet himself in the 38th. And who else but Edgar Bal Balsadano um, in the 71st. Um, and of course that does leave us today with Philadelphia Union in the final game of the season. We'll just have a look at the league tail where it, how it sits currently. As you can see, we cannot get uh, equal on points with Houston. They have won our conference. Um, we are pretty much secure in second place. So we've secured second in the conference. Um, and uh, we can essentially finish second in the overall league table as we're currently there at the moment. Um, any type of result, we'll actually, we'll actually secure it. I've just done the maths. Um, going by the uh, goal difference, it's too big between us. So that's perfect. Um, second in the overall league is pretty impressive. Um, wouldn't really expect it from from my recent games, to be honest, um, for this series and the uh, HSV series. But um, I I'm pretty proud nonetheless. I I've, I've pretty much revamped this whole New York side. When I first came in, they were doing so terribly and um, just managed to turn it around. And now... I've reached the 50th episode of the series. I mean, it's been quite a journey. Um, it really has, and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, never really had a decent save in the MLS. Um, back on Football Manager 11, I think I had a save with FC Dallas. So it was it was all right, but um, FM 11 was really it was really glitchy the MLS. So you couldn't really have um, too good of a save there. Things about the uh, international slots would make the game crash and whatnot. But anyway, let's not talk about that anymore. Alright, let's get into today's game. And I've done that again. Uh, he looks actually, he looks decent. I might, like, oh, skating is already in progress. That would be why. Sorry guys, got a little sidetrack there. But um, I did the old click about thing, click on the unread messages accidentally as I started the recording. Um, but let's just get into live com. Um, gonna stick with this team, Perez, Dirk, and the usual team. 
except uh, Laiwiki will be in because Webb is suspended. Yeah, he is. There he is. Um, Gutierrez, he's played a couple of games recently. He's been all right. Um, not looking too bad. Uh, we'll just continue now. Of course, we've already got second wrapped up, so it doesn't really matter if we win or lose today. But it would be nice to finish off with a win, especially on the 50th episode. Such a milestone for me. And um, I'd love to cap it off with a nice away victory over Philadelphia on the final day. Come on, boys. Let's do this. This will be the pointless highlight. My wiki. I mean, I'm really excited for the playoffs. Um, it's really just, it's going to be really like full on pressure, to be honest. Because I really do want to do well in it. I want to win the MLS. I would love to play uh, North American Champions League football next season. Be quite an accomplishment, to be honest. Poor shot by Durkin, but it was a pointless highlight, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, I've got a set piece. Oh, that's a good save. That is a good save. Durkin now, he's got bucket loads of space. Two plays in the middle, one now. Crosses it. Perez, get there, son. Get there, Perez. What a goal. That was a beautiful breakaway on the counter. Great cross by Durkin as well. So they don't have a corner. It's cleared. And it looks like Durkin's going to be away again. He is. He's away again down this left-hand side. Off another set piece. He's got another player in the center. He'll cross it. Adele, get there, son. That's two goals on the counter-attack right there. Both set up by Durkin breaking down the left. That was brilliant. This is this is exactly how I wanted the 50th episode to go. Oh, wow. This is great. Almost in the half time. Perfect. 2 0. 2 0 lead, exactly what I wanted. I'm happy. Keep it up. Two brilliant counter attacks. That's a pointless highlight. Gonna make a sub after this highlight. My wiki. Out to Caldwell. Crosses. Perez back post. Good save by Sindoya. We're gonna make that sub now. Gonna bring Baltadano on. Um kind of Stasi on as well. And We'll bring Gutierrez on for the week here. We'll make a triple triple sub, triple sub. Live on the edge. <laughs> uh, just give a few players game time, more like it. Durkin with an impressive 9.0 match rating. McDonald's up there as well, 8.4. That's full time, guys. Beautiful 2-0 victory, both on the counter-attack. Um, I'm going to say that. Not a very good response. 57% um, possession. Finished one, well, they have a game in hand, but still. 62 points, that's pretty decent. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please leave a like rating on the video and add it to your favourites. I know I ask for it every episode, but it really would help the uh, series out um, quite a bit. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, really should wait till the outro. There'll be a subscribe button and a subscribe button annotation at the top. Click it, and it will subscribe you to the channel, and you can stay up to date with all my Football Manager content. Alternatively, you can just head over to my channel, just click on my name, and uh, there'll be a button at the top which you can press as well if you already didn't know that um, yeah so playoffs next guys it's gonna be really exciting um, it's gonna be real high pressure for me I'm probably gonna be like stressing out over it during the videos but um, it's 
it's going to be it's going to be a great great um, occasion for the series. Um, progressed quite a bit from Melbourne Heart now. We've we haven't we've left well we left about three seasons ago and um, things are starting to look really good with New York right now. Really good. We've got quite a really like a really young quality team and it's just it's all coming together nicely. I've been a Swiss Aussie guys and goodbye.